Mary Barters with the Bartos Group of Premier Plus Realty, and we are at another episode of Really Mary. Super excited and delighted to have our guest today, uh, Vera J from J Designs, a wonderful interior designer here in Southwest Florida. Welcome, Vera, to the show of Really Mary. Oh, thank you so much. I'm very excited about being here. <laughs> and as all of our guests do, um, you get to give them your best Really Mary, uh, you know, comment. <laughs> All righty, here it comes. Really, Mary. <laughs> She's a Thurston Howell, love you, Howell. From Gilligan <laughs> Island kind of gal, I love it. Um, Vera, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, as an interior designer here in Southwest Florida, not only do you have uh, great skills where you go in and make people's homes beautiful, but you also have a podcast. Um, tell everybody a little bit more about um, Nesting in Naples and your podcast before we launch into what you exactly do in your business. Thank you. Uh, Nesting in Naples is a relatively new podcast, but it's quite successful because I feature the full-timers who live down here, who are the people who increase the value of homes. Uh, we also look into the educational system for families that are thinking of moving down here and having their children attend the wonderful public schools that we have down here. And we also get into the ecology of, of Southwest Florida. Uh, it's one of the treasures of, of the world uh, down here. And it shows when people are visiting and dream about living down here. And it's one thing to visit and vacation. It's another to live down here. So like yourself, I like to share the insights of anything that will help the, the new, uh, the, the people who want to move down here or invest in property. Uh, insider information is always helpful. And <laughs> we like to season it with a little gossip too. <laughs> wow. I love it, all of that. Interesting yeah. insider and gossip. You can't go wrong with them. No, that is can't. awesome. Well, and to your point, um, our ecology is very amazing. Um, just in all the things in the nature that we have down here and the way it works um, in our environment and what people have taken to protect it through the years um, from developers, et cetera, um, is just, you know, I guess one of our wonders of our area. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, so if you haven't caught uh, Vera's podcast, it's Nesting in Naples. I'm putting a big plug on it. We'll make sure we put a link to it. But what she's here today to talk about is really interior designing. And if any of you are as bad with making decisions on the inside of your home as I am, you're going to love what Vera has to say. Vera, really tell people here what what does a homeowner, um, or why do people choose an interior designer other than they can't make decisions like me? There's a, um, unfortunately, um, just to touch, uh, there's some um, programs on television that make it look like you can design within 58 minutes, and one person did it, and it only took a day, and, um, and the reality is that's really not true. Um, there's a lot to remodeling or build a home, and there are a lot of moving parts, people in particular. So the benefit of working with a designer is that they can take your inner wishes, even what you're not saying, and help you develop that dialogue so that everyone is on the same page and you end up with the style and the design and the feel of what you wanted to live in. Another reason is... Um, I don't know how many of my clients have said you should write a book just on the terms that you're using in your industry because <laughs> it really is, um, a, a, it, it's a foreign language, as it should be because it's a professional industry and there are a lot of, um, bio, excuse me, a lot of laws, um, rules and so forth that we do have to abide by. Uh, being having a designer as your liaison is basically somebody who has your back. And when you're not able to be there or project manage the, um, the project, you have somebody there who knows the industry. More importantly is troubleshooting. 
uh, get a good get a designer who's really good at troubleshooting. How do you know that? Interview their other clients. Talk to different that. vendors. Um, if you decide you want to do the project management and you live in another state and you're down here and you're trying to troubleshoot, who do you know? What do you know? How? What options can you come up with? That's where a good designer comes in. As well, they're a reality check. So there's a schedule that's um, created. They know the manufacturers. They know the contractors. Um, a lot of people uh, are surprised when they say, oh, I bought this beautiful condo. I want to start remodeling it. And we're like, no, no, no. It's September, October. We can't do that because of the uh, the rules and the laws that we have down right. here, only doing construction in certain areas during the summer. Well, if you would have known that, that may have made a major um, mark on your, in, uh, your decision making. So... Right. Um, and then lastly, a style. Uh, we, we don't have to be locked in on one style. If you're, are you the same person? I ask my clients, are you the same person you were 10 years ago? And do you want to be that same person 10 years from now? So why are we using the same colors in your up north house? Um, you know, like stretch a little bit. We evolve like our homes evolve and it should represent who you are. So as a designer for over 20 years, I have seen clients go from, I just want to remodel to, oh, I just love coming here to Florida because it's not just the state itself, but I feel I have a home where I can grow, where I can relax, where it represents who I am now. And having that second set of eyes and that direction from your designer will wake you up and give you what you want and keep you on budget. Oh, she said the B word. For B word. The B word. She just uttered it. But uh, isn't that the case? Because when you start, um, at least in my world, <laughs> Vera, I start to pull the string. I'm going to do this one thing. And then the string keeps going and it keeps going. And before I know it, I'm like in a crazy whirlwind of what am I actually going to do in my house? And that B word really does come into effect, right? As it does for every person, um, you know, anyway. Um, well, that is absolutely awesome. You know, I know, um, I'm sure there's some other things. We've got some comments here from our viewers, uh, folks that are saying that you're awesome, by the way. Aww, and, thank uh, you. One below that says such great info. Um, we love seeing that. There are one other thing, you know, what are the thoughts do you have for our watchers today? Um, how to work with a designer. Uh, um, indeed, getting not only your designer, but your whole team. Um, communicating with them is really key. And I have, and otherwise it's, it's going to be very clumsy. So what I suggest is make your life easier uh, get out your magazines, rip out pages. Um, I get photographs of flowers from clients and they say, I love this color. So somehow or another, of course, I'm going to incorporate that. Um, <laughs> it's their home, not mine. I don't yeah. live there. They do. So I'm creating their world. And um, help the designer understand what you're you're trying to reach. For instance, somebody told me I wanted they wanted a modern home. Well, is that traditional modern? Is that transitional? Is that 1960s, 1950s modern? Um, having the visuals to say, this is what I'm talking about is very, very useful. Not necessarily that you want to copy that, but reference it for your own style. Um, and another thing are understand, prioritize in your mind what you must have what you can probably do without, or can you lower the budget? What is it? Borrow from Peter to pay Paul. Um, <laughs> understand where you can do that. And that's easily in the, um, the owner's primary bathroom versus the guest bath. Um, of course, the guest bath is not going to have as high of a budget as, as the other. So understanding what that is, 
allows you and the designer to alter any priorities based on what you have found, how you feel at the time, where the project is going. Um, and most importantly, I have seen and I have experienced projects coming to a complete standstill wow. because the potential clients um, were not forthcoming in their information about their budget. And if you're going to throw in a wrench in the middle of a project, understand the responsibility of what that does to your project. So sure. come to the table with um, some homework that you've done in order to task your designer as a team member so that all of you can accomplish what you want. It's going to be stressful. There's going to be things that you've never thought about. We can't even predict um, some things, but troubleshooting it, working together is key. So that's my big tip for people who are wanting to work with designers. I love that, Vera. I'm telling you again, um, you need to check out Vera. So um, if you're thinking of hiring a designer, you definitely want to interview her. Vera, tell them how they can find you, your website and your phone number. Website is www.jdesignsingulardesign.com. And number is 239-250-2360. Awesome. Give me a call. We'd love to talk to you. Without a doubt. And I will tell you, we could go on all day long because, as you mentioned, in this day of HGTV, you know, Vera could go on and give you tips and uh, ta uh, pointers, but we just have to maybe have her on again. Catch her on Nesting in Naples. Check out her website. Give her a call. We'll have the information below. And as always, I'm Mary Bartis with the Bartos Group of Premier Plus Realty, and we look forward to seeing you here in paradise getting your home designed. Ciao.